Good morning, my name is Joel Monsalve. This time I would like to show you how a scrapping program looks like. How it looks running in real time. This is a little demonstration I want to make you over a project that is being done or rather is actually done with a client. The scrapping or data scrapping is a technique which objective is to obtain or collect data for its further analysis. For example, with backtesting, what is a fundamental part of any crypto trading project. In the same way, data can be collected f with another purpose, commercial purposes, gathering info, so on. But whatever the focus is, the objective is always to obtain data for its subsequent analysis. Well, we have here, this particular code was written in Python and for its demonstration, we see it running in Linux environment. However, it can be perfectly done on Windows or even it can be fixed to run over private servers. Okay, the goal of the program is to use the API of the Binance Exchange to get the data, the OCHLC candles, that is open, high, low, close, for the specified coins, pairs, or symbols, as well as the top five levels of the price ladder of both sides, as in bid. Okay, we, this is our console. This that I am highlighting here is the time interval, which is usually one minute, five, 30 minutes, one hour, so on. But that I'm taking here as 15 seconds for demonstration purposes. Now we run the program and it is establishing a connection with the exchange and it is getting the first two answers here. We can see here the time stamp for the data acquisitions. What the program does is in the subfolder data the program keeps three directories to each of the three pairs it is connecting with. In this case, let's see the pair Bitcoin USDT, Bitcoin Dollar Theater, the year 2021, the month 06, the day 02, and this is the file that is being updated with each reading. It's a CSV that can be opened and read with any text editor and we can note that with each reading the program adds a new line to the file as well to each file corresponding to the other coins that, um, that are being read. In the file symbols we are able to specify what coins do we want the program to read. Well, there is a list of the available symbols for the user to select those he wants to pick up. We have chosen three, the BT, ET, LT, as we see here in the list. And we have a folder to each coin we have selected. And if we open any of these CSV files with Excel, we can see several fields like time stamp and also another details as we see here. We see the open time the values of the candles, open, high, low, close, the close time, 
the volume and the first five prices in the ladder for both market size as in bid. We can configure an arbitrary debt to be read from the ladder, but to reduce the size or cost of the transaction, I had limited to just five levels, and this scrapper will continue executing continuously as long as we want. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you will see below my contact info for any project you would like to run. Thank you for your attention.